I just ordered the new Nest E thermostat. It came out about two weeks ago, and we've already been getting uh, you know a couple of requests for it, so I thought I'd order one. Yeah, usually we'll pick up Nest thermostats either um, at Home Depot or maybe on Amazon, but it wasn't even on Amazon yet. So I actually had to order it directly from Nest, and it just came now, so let's have a look at it. So it's about um, $169. I was really expecting it to feel a lot cheaper, but it still has a lot of heft to it, just like the Nest 3 does. Apparently the screen is supposed to go completely white when it's dormant and waiting. The menus are really intuitive and everything is really online. There's less terminals than the Nest 3, which simplifies it for the average homeowner who would be installing one, but as a geothermal installer, this does not have all the terminals that we're looking for for multiple stage heating and cooling systems. So typically we'll have three stages of heat and two stages of cool. You would not be able to do that with this thermostat, with these settings. The way that you could get around it though is if you have a zoning package or a zone board that can do the staging for for you. So instead of the thermostat deciding the staging, the zoning board does based on time or based on the number of zones that are calling for heat or air conditioning. So quite nice. Um, we'll ins we're going to be installing one of these on a radiant floor system. Um, in that case, you don't need so many terminals. The radiant floor is basically on or off. That's it. Um, so you don't need a lot of um, terminals in there to, to, or wires to connections to make it work. So uh, we'll let you know how it goes.